So yeah. Jezzo managed to put him down. That was insane. But regardless, we're going to Hollow Bastion and it is going to be Lucas versus Greninja with Piplup versus Nitox. How do you think this matchup's going to end up? Um, that's a good question. I think a little, little bit of Lucas myself, but I think I, if I were to take a guess, I think Greninja would have just you know Lucas is kind of slow falling and we're slow kind of moving speed comparison to him just like dashing around and then he's going to be able to and Lucas is projectiles and just the amount of our like PK freeze PK thunder and that's it well. just dashing in and out and catching Lucas yeah and it seems like so far though Nitox seems to have a really good foot in the just just general his foothold is very very strong right now and it seems like ledge that this matchup turn, takes a turn because We've seen down smash the PK fire and PK freeze all hit Greninja's up B, and Piplup needs to be very, very careful because that down smash is not a joke. Very serious knockback on that board. Incredibly serious. Like that will be what you said to be very susceptible to moves like down smash and especially PK freeze if that can be timed when you're playing against something with such massive a craft as Nitox then they're going to keep you a ledge and they're going to take advantage of you properly. So what we need to do is pick one is definitely avoid the ledge. However, definitely. speaking of edge guarding, we've got Hydro Pump, another big factor in this matchup. That's just true. push Lucas away. He can't bounce off the wall and get people in front of back. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And you know, Piplop has also been very, very aggressive on stage as well. And I'm pretty sure both of these characters have to make as much use of each other's weaknesses there. But Piplop seems to be... Ooh, just about lost it there. I was about to say extra credit was building, but Ditox putting it down quite swiftly there. And we're back to a pretty even situation here. Yeah, that kill throw pretty good work. Something that I guess has been blessed with that department. If you're struggling to get a kill, you just grab the back throw and it's back to even. However, the Hawks fall behind a little bit. A little bit against Pip One. However, the Zare chain into oh my a back air. The first one missing, but the second one hitting quite, not quite putting Pip One down as it manages to recover. Yeah, that was. Honestly, that their conversion, that is a Nitox classic. But yep. another classic is that Greninja confirmed yep. there from Piplup, managed to secure a Nair into a tipper up smash. Wow, this is such explosive gameplay right here. Oh, Nitox <laughs> cracked down, down there from <laughs> the I, was, I was just about to say, just how back and forth this, like, this first game has been. It's only game one in this thing. Yeah. And it's just what, what we thought was no way. And the game is over. Oh my god, within seconds. As I was going to say, what we thought was Nitox taking the lead to that spike was instantly swapped around for that dunk down to up thing. But you can just see yeah. he can start on stage and still spike you. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to catch stage. you off. Exactly. It's absolutely insane. Look at that crazy tools. Definitely. Nitox really puts that stuff on display for everyone to see the shit. Just what Lucas is capable of. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely solidly taking that game for game one, but we are returning to game two on Hollow Bastion and again a very familiar story from game one where Nitox does have the initial lead, you know, very comfortable at first. Maybe Piplup will answer back with something explosive here, who knows? Yeah, I'm just I'm very interested in how the set is going to progress because we had such an even game one, you know, just firing back and forth. It could have been taken by anybody. You know, this is where we have a vision kicks in this thing. You know, see that Pip Up adapts to what Nitox put to display and then Nitox will adapt to what Pip Up put on display. However, that Hydro Pop not quite making it to the ledge kind of made you yeah. afraid of that deck smash. Exactly. Yeah, that. yeah, that's it. Drop and stop. And you know, one of the adaptations um, that I've seen Keplup do versus Nitox while off stage and trying to get back on stage, he's using shurikens a lot to interrupt those down smashes. Yeah. But Nitox, I feel like he's going to wake up to that answer very, very soon and reply with even further options that potentially make it even harder. I mean, that's the grace of these top players right here. I mean, both of these are very well-known players, very explosive gameplay, and that's exactly what we're seeing right here. Stocks do fly very quickly. But at the moment, Nitox has been holding on to this stock for dear life. <laughs> stock tanking <laughs> yeah. in 1v1s. Jeez. And that's, that's what he was talking about, the grace the grace of like, these top players. The beauty of adaptation, that's how we're the same. It's already been caught displaying this game too, with the shurikens interrupting the down smash. Got caught at the start of the game by the down smash while recovering. What do I do? How do I stop this shuriken? I'll stop it. And then we'll see how it does. That's just that, as you said. It's just back and forth until that is over. So it comes out on top. Right now, though, it does seem like Piplup is really struggling to secure this first stock here from Nitox. Meanwhile, Nitox is definitely getting a conversion there. This is really easy percent for, like, Lucas to confirm, especially with down tilt to F tilt. 
We've got a lot of options. All of the grab throws still. Speaking of grab throws, we get some up throw action here from Piffler. Finally securing the first stock of this game. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this is where Good Ninja will start to struggle. I see. Look at this. Look at this matchup. Because you know we've seen that Good Ninja players such as Tarek and Tom play uh, trouble with killing Good Ninja and kind of that percent. Yeah, more fair to kill. That some conversions don't work. It adds for the character, especially if you're not on detox with such good movement. You kind of you can just take distance from Kiki Fires and such like those big hitboxes. You kind of avoid the ninja there. And you can just rise up in percent as it becomes harder and harder to kill. Yeah, that's true. As well as the fact that Lucas is very small and those wave bounces from Nitox. Oh my god, the down oh. chains. Oh my god. Jeez, those down air chains kind of reminded me of Fox wave shining in melee. What was going on? <laughs> uh, definitely a much more simpler input, but goodness gracious, Nitox is not afraid to show off. It makes you think what Tass Lucas could do. If somebody, if somebody was good enough to just play Lucas like a robot, how oh, good that yeah. character would be. That would definitely be something that nobody wants to see in competitive gameplay. Very scary options there from Nitox. I mean, him alone is a one-man machine, but Piplup really struggling. Oh, oh, wow, the reverse edge guard there. So back and forth, you saw. Yeah, for me to answer big in game three, because it really is looking like a huge uphill climb. And Piplup's answer seems to be the final destination here. What do you think of this pick, for Lucas especially? Ah. Uh... I'm interested in it, honestly, because you know, Greninja kind of likes those drag down, just like, like plat, like tech chase, some smashes the platforms and stuff like that. So I wonder, like, kind of platforms will help you maneuver around to pick your fire. That's all true. this projector. So I'm interested in this pick. However, I have seen pick one in past sets um, favor FD as a counter pick option. So I just I wonder what the thought process is that you go into. You know, it might be just more so of a comfort. A lot yeah. of people tend to go comfort, and speaking of comforting sure. options there, we got a net border there from Peplop. Great stuff so far. It looks like Peplop is way more comfortable here. Yeah. Huge yeah. Lead, like a whole stock lead and almost lapping in percent. Yeah, Peplop is definitely more comfortable here. Maybe some kind of realization. What yeah. Do you think? Uh, I think maybe it's just maybe it's just taking the platforms away from Wicked, so we can kind of kind of like run off and kind of like. Wavebanks like Psyche or something, Wavebanks neutral be around the platform is going to make a tricky movement. Maybe just eliminating that option from Nitox is just giving him up like a lot more to work with. Yeah, that's very true. You could, like, I mean, throwing away the platform being there's less places to land and it really does make everything a lot more streamlined. Nitox is very ambitious to confirm that. Trying to yep. get a down to it. Well, it's not really a confirm, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just more sort of a throwaway type of thing. Something, something you kind of want, you, something you want to throw out if you really want to make back that ground that you've lost. Exactly. You know, now down the entire stop to pick block you can just get through. You need to go for those like hail mary options, mary you know, because exactly. like, you're you're losing ground fast. Oh, we finally see Nitox actually using the tech chase there, there and finally get an up throw. Yeah, back throw is definitely not the only kill option for yeah. Lucas, yeah. yeah. blessed with many kill throws there. Okay, Nitox now actually in a better position compared to before. Uh -huh. But, oh, Piplup really fiending. This is prime up smash percent. Like, this is perfect to confirm percent for Piplup here. But they need to be very conscious because I'm pretty sure Nitox also knows that this is prime confirm percent and it don't matter if you're off stage. Yeah, this oh. is looking really bad for Piplop. Yeah, those down smashes. It's a dire situation, yeah. unfortunately, does not make it back. I was actually about to say before any of that happened, Piplop has to be so incredibly careful of Nitox's advantage state because he had the percent lead, but if, if you're trapped off stage and Nitox can take advantage of your poor recovery, then yeah. it would be wraps for that second slot. That's exactly what we saw. That's happened. exactly, yeah. Right, Nitox is really showing off how far off stage he can recover from. This is now a much more dire situation for Piplup, who stocks down compared to before. Completely flipping positions there. Yeah, this is a very high tense situation there. You need to get specific hits with Greninja, such as that back hit. I'm surprised he didn't go for anything further there. But, uh, yeah. Regardless though, yeah, again, just a very difficult situation. Percent is building up and Nitox very close to trying to kill to Lucas as well, so... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What well, started off is what we thought was a comfort bit for Piplop has been flipped on his head and then Nitox is taking control of the stage. Yeah, and now we do finally see Piplop answering back, not letting it go, just as Nitox planned. And now we've got a much more of an even game on our hands. And yeah, Piplop 
still though, desperately behind the percent. Yeah, this is this is tough. For Jeff, but this is the tournament start. Yeah, this is too fighting all of his life right now. This is potentially for Flux last game and oh god, he's off stage. This match should last for cover you make. He's on stage centre stage. Control the right back. Just stay in the centre for this back for a little bit more rage, we'll be killing the edge. Very, very tense situation and that there tech could definitely lead to even more destructive scenarios here. Nitox really, really making an emphasis on his PK fire and their gameplay here. Makes sense, they're two of the most safe on neutral options, but yep. be careful, Kevlop might fire back with we'll sneak in there with an air. And this is actually kill percent for Piplup. Oh my god, that was a dropped conversion there. Yep, not quite. Maybe, maybe just wasn't expecting it. The down tilt in that situation. Yeah. Just wasn't ready to win it. Mm -hmm. It's a fair instead. And speaking oh, yeah. of fairs, we talk so we'll land one to take this set. 3-0 over Pitka. Yeah. Pitka disqualified at, what, I think, the 16th?